Alright guys, we are back for more of my birthday special. We just did a game of Family Feud Decades for the Nintendo Wii, but unfortunately that did not go very well as we ended up losing on that. But anyways, for our next segment we are going to be playing Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. So let's see if we can win a good amount of money this game. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. We're just gonna do easy difficulty. Let's do this. Please welcome our contestants. <laughs> Player one. Player Taking two. on Katie and Samuel Player this game. Three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Jeopardy. All round. right, let's see the cowboys for the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories. Thomas Payne, Thomas said, Payne said. Music class. Music class. Eighties. Eighties music. Ice cream. Ice cream. Odd words. Odd words. And I and hop. I hop. All right, let's get back into this. Layer one has control of the board. While pointing the Wii remote at the screen. Press the A button to select a clue. Let's start with ice cream for 200. Cohen and Greenfield are the last names of the co-founders of this company that created Cherry Garcia ice cream. Yes, player one. Use the What is Ben and Jerry's? Direction yeah. Good ice you. cream for 400. Select again. Though it started with just 31 flavors, this chain now has more than 1,000 including SPF 31. Okay, player one. What is Baskin Robbins? Right, you Ice up. cream for six heart, please. We return to you. This treat gets its name because a certain fruit is cut lengthwise and then topped with ice cream, nuts, and whipped cream. I totally should know this. It's player one. What is banana split? You ice cream for 800. Layer 1. This three flavored ice cream is named for an Italian city. Let's hear it, Layer 1. What is Neapolitan? Ice cream for 1,000. Layer 1. Many claim to have invented these. One man made them from waffles at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. It's layer one. What are ice cream cones? Right. Alright, let's do IHOP for 200. The red type of this marsupial can leap over barriers as high as six feet. Let's hear it, layer one. What is the kangaroo? Yep. IHOP for 400. Choose again. Player this one. class of animals includes frogs and toads. I definitely know this okay, one. Player one. What are amphibians? I hop for six hundred. You again, player the one. The hare named for this country between France and the Netherlands is actually a rabbit. Yes, player one. What is Belgium? That's yes! Right. That's right! I hop for 800. A grasshopper shares the billing with one of these insects in the title of an Aesop fable. Alright, let's see what Samuel says. And? That is correct. Uh, that was what we were looking for. Okay. You get to pick again, player. I hop for 1,000. This tiny insect pest, Pulex irritans, can leap more than 130 times its own height. Okay. Alright, Katie says 
Attack. Uh, nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess? Alright, we have a 50 50 shot, so I may as well go Let's for it. One. What is a flea? Yes. Alright, got it. You and um, how about we go with our uh, words for 200? Dumbledore is actually an old word for this insect. J.K. Rowling imagined him humming all the time. Player one? What is a grasshopper? Uh, no, that's not it. Anyone else? Well, it was only 200 that we lost, but that's okay. The correct response is a bumblebee. Oh, the bumblebee was what we needed. Okay. Odd uh, words for 400. The name of this light, crinkled fabric comes from the Persian shur or shakar, meaning milk and sugar. Yes, player one. What is... seersucker? That's right! Alright, odd words for 600. You again, Layer the one. fact that clavate means shape like this isn't something you have to hit me over the head with. This I'm not so sure at, so I'm not going to take a guess. Here's what we were looking for. A club. It was a club, alright. Odd words for 800. You, Too much time enjoying potent potables? You could end up with a Katzenjammer, one of these. Here's the correct response. A hangover. Oh, a hangover. Okay. Please pick up. Uh, words for a thousand. Robinsonade is not a refreshing drink. It's a novel similar in theme to a work by this author. It's player two. Katie says Charles Dickens. Uh, no. Uh, That's not it. Any other takers? I'll go for it. Player one? Who is William Faulkner? Sorry. Oh. No, that's not it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? So we know Samuel's gonna get this now. Let's hear it. Player three? It was Daniel Defoe. Oh. Alright. Select again. 80s music for 200. The great Kim Band was singing our song, crooning, Our love's in this, baby. Okay, layer one. What is Jeopardy? Yes. That's right! 80s music for 400. In 1984, his Let's Go Crazy said, We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. It's layer one. Who is Stevie Wonder? No! no. Any other takers? We're talking about Prince. Oh, it's Prince. Okay. Choose 80s again. music for 600. She told us, love is a battlefield. And in 1980, went to number nine with, hit me with your best shot. Pat Benatar. Oh, it's Pat Benatar. Okay. Player one. Music for 800. In 1981, Sheena Easton sang, My baby takes the this. He works from nine till five, and then he takes another home again. Here's the response we were looking for. The morning train. Morning train. Okay. Layer one. 80s music for a thousand. Well, I talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Lip sync asked, won't you take me to here? I do know the swan. Yes, player one. What is Funky Town? That's it. 
Alright, let's go with music class music for 200. On sheet music, this sign identifies the second line of the staff as the G above middle C. Okay, layer one. What is the treble clef? That's correct. Music class for 400. The name of this section of an orchestra comes from the Latin for a beating. Let's hear it, player one. What is woodwind? Oh. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player two. Katie says percussion. Oh, oh that was what we needed. Player two, back to you. Music class for 600. Here's Kelly, she'll show you. The guitarist here is playing one of these, defined as a combination of three or more notes. I'm not so sure of this one. Here's what we were looking for. A chord. A chord, all right. Layer two, pick again. Music class for a hundred. You may have studied these Chopin pieces whose name is French for studies. Here's the response we were looking for. Etudes. Etudes, okay. Please pick again, player. Music class for a thousand. Rachmaninoff wrote one on a theme of Paganini. Gershwin wrote one in blue. Well, we pretty much know the category where the daily double is, but we don't know exactly which clue in that category it is at. The correct response is a rhapsody. Oh, it was a rhapsody, okay. Layer two. You pick a Thomas game. Paine said for two hundred. Well, crisis number one begins. These are the times that try men's these. Yes, layer one. What are shoes? Sorry. No. Anyone else? We're talking about souls. All oh, the souls. That was going to be my second guess. Oh well. Thomas Paine said for four hundred. The fate of Charles the First hath only made these individuals more subtle, not more just. It's Let's see what Katie it. says. Kings. Good. She got it. You again, player two. Thomas Paine said for 600. And there's the Daily Double. Answer, <laughs> it's the Daily Double. Player two, you are All right, Katie's going to wager 350. Here is your clue. No man was a warmer wisher for reconciliation than myself before the fatal 19th of this month, 1775. She says April. <laughs> she got it. Choose again. Player two. Thomas Paine said for a hundred. In the rights of man in 1791, Paine wrote, The cause of the rebellion in this country is that of the whole world. Here's the correct response. France. It was France. All right. And now the thousand dollar clue. All right, last clue. This basic document is the property of a nation and not of those who exercise the government. Okay, player three. Samuel says constitution, and he's right. All right, after the jumpy okay, round, we are in the lead with $4,800. And Katie is going to be selecting first in double jeopardy since she's in last place. Let's see what categories we have. Pop on a CD. Pop on a CD. Eat well. Eat well. Retronyms. Retronyms. Your history. Your history. Biosphere. Biosphere. And and science science grab, grab back. All right. Let's get back into this now. You have pop on a CD for four hundred. Road, Peach Tree Road. Layer one. 
Who is David Bowie? That's no. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Well, that was not a good way to start it's Double Jeopardy good. off. Alright, Samuel says Paul McCartney, oh, and that's oh. not right either. Anyone else? So Katie's now going to get this one. Yes, player two. It was Elton John. Yeah. We return to you, player Pop two. Pop on a CD for a hard Dirty word. Mind, Controversy, The Love Symbol Album. Here's the correct response. Prince. It was Prince. Alright. Player two. Pick again. Pop on a CD for 12 Rhythm Nation 1814. The Velvet Rope. It's kind of interesting that Prince was actually the correct response on one clue in the Jeopardy round and now shows up again in Double Jeopardy is the correct response. Janet Jackson. Alright, we are looking for Janet Jackson. Please pick again. Player two. Biosphere for 400. Samuel Elliott Morrison won a Pulitzer for Admiral of the Ocean Sea about this man who died in 1506. I'm not so sure of this one. Here's what we were looking for. Christopher Columbus. Oh, Christopher Columbus. Okay. Player two. Back to you. For Biosphere for A. Howard. As he is the subject of 1918 and 1939 Pulitzer Prize winners, perhaps the books should be read with bifocals. Let's hear it. Player two. Okay, he says... Anton oh. Van Leeuwenhoogen. Uh, she's not right. Uh, I guess I'll go for it. 50-50 okay. shot. Um, who is Thomas Edison? Oh. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? So Samuel's going to get this one. It's player three. It was Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> All right. Player three, back to you. File sphere for twelve hundred, and there's one of the two daily doubles. The first of the daily doubles. You're in second place. So what? Samuel's gonna wager seven fifty. Clue. Mockingbird is a portrait of this southern writer. He says William Faulkner. Oh, nope. Here's the correct response. Harper Lee. It was Harper Lee. Okay. Choose again. Player three. Retronyms for 400. Were created by putting this word before coffee and gasoline. Yes, player one. Uh, what is regular? There we go. Got it. Um, uh, how about we go with retronyms for 800? As opposed to digital, it's the kind of watch with a face and hands. Player one. What is analog? Yeah. Got it. Retronyms for twelve hundred. again. Merriam-Webster's example of a retronym is console. This. Let's hear it. Player one. What is? Computer? Ooh, no. That's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. Television. It was television. Okay. Selecting Retronyms for 1600. Frank Mankiewicz, the coiner of the word retronym, says one of his favorites is... To parent this. I'm not going to try the swan. The correct response is family. Family. Okay. 
Rather than them for 2000. The Washington Post called Live This a classic reprimand. Player two. Kay says drama, and she's right. And she's back on the pause side. Eat well for 400. Eat a salad with this vegetable that can be classified as butterhead, crisp head, leaf, or romaine. Okay, layer one. What is... Lettuce? That's right! Alright, let's go and eat well for 800. Some of the recommended whole types of this food pyramid product are quinoa, millet, sorghum, and barley. Let's hear it, player one. What is grain? Got it! Eat well for 1200. Player one. Among legumes, a good source of protein are peas and this type of seed, such as the pinto, white, or black variety. It's player two. Kay says lentil. Oh. Nope. So she's back in the hole. Any other takers? I'll take a guess at it. Yes, player one. What is a peanut? No. Anyone else? So Sam was going to get this one. It's player three. It was Bean. Good for you. Now Samuel's very in the lead by fifty dollars. E well for sixteen hundred. off to Kelly. Seen here is the hobo sign, meaning that this staple of life is available ahead. Here's the response we were looking for. Bread. Oh, it was bread. That should have been obvious. Oh, well. Eat well for 2000. Eat this nut native to Brazil and taken to Asia by Portuguese missionaries. Let's hear it. Player two. Kay says the walnut. No. That's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? I gotta go okay, for it. Player one. What is a cashew? Right, you are. There we go. Back in the lead right now with fifty six hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's go biosphere for sixteen hundred. Queen of fashion is subtitled "What She Wore to the Revolution." talking about Marie Antoinette. A Marie Antoinette. Okay. You get to pick Bob a Spear for 2000. In a bit of table turning, Poison Pen is an unauthorized bio of this woman who wrote a bio of Nancy Reagan. Here's what we wanted. Kitty Kelly. It was Kitty Kelly. Okay. Please pick Pop up on a CD for 1600 Thankful. Breakaway. Player three? Samuel says Taylor Swift. Ah. Nope. Any other takers? Let's go for it. Yes, player one. Who is Kelly Clarkson? That's right! Alright, pop on a CD for 2000. The writing's on the wall. Survivor. Here's the response we were looking for. Destiny's Child. It was Destiny's Child. Okay. We returned to Alright, how about we go science grab pack for 400? These cells from human embryos can grow into any type of tissue and may someday cure diabetes and Alzheimer's. Let's hear it, player one. What 
are stem cells. That's, That's right. All right, science grab pack for 800. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are called this type of planet after a Roman god. Yes, player one. What is... Martian? No. Anyone else? Player three? Samuel says Jovian. Oh, that was going to be my second guess. Oh, well. Three. Back to you. Science grab back for 1,200. The material called URHGE can be manipulated into being a resistance-free super this. Okay, player three. What does Samuel say? Conductor. Right. He got it. We return to you, player three. Science grab back for sixteen hundred. Alphabetically, it's last among the elements on the periodic table. I'm gonna try Let's this one. one. What is zirconium? Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. So Science okay. grab back for two thousand. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. The two main kinds of lens are diverging and this type that bends rays of light inward so they meet at the focal point. Here's the correct response. Converging. It was converging. All right. Please pick your up history for 400. Heads up. This 16th century British king had six wives and a two-door garage. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Henry the Eighth? That's right! Your history for a hundred. Player one. Hold the phone, said Elisha Gray and Thomas Edison, who both sued this Scottish-born inventor and lost. Okay, player two. Let's see what Katie says. Andrew oh, Carnegie. Uh, nope. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I'll go for it. Yes, player one. Who is Alexander Graham Bell? <laughs> That's right. Your history for 1200. In 45 BC, this Roman's army defeated the two sons of Pompey. It would be his final battle. I'm not sure. Here's what we wanted. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Okay. You get Your history for 1600. And there's the other daily double. Yeah. Answer, the second daily double. You are in the lead right now. I don't feel Caesar. confident on this category, so I'm just going to wager a thousand. Answer this. This future U.S. president graduated from West Point in 1915. 61st in a class of 164. Who is... Dwight Eisenhower? <laughs> oh, I got it! Nice! Up to $10,600 now. And let's go to the last this clue. This for a woman's right to vote died in 1906, 14 years before the 19th Amendment made her dream a reality. I'm not sure on this one. Here's the correct response. Susan B. It was Anthony. Susan B. Anthony. All right. Only two of you will be going to All right, so Kate's not game. going to file Sorry, Jeopardy all too. because she's in the hole. So it's just going to be me and Samuel Final for file Jeopardy. Come. And here's, and the, here's the category. Historic, Historic purchases. purchases. You need to select your winner. All right. So I do have a runaway, so uh, we'll be sure to guarantee a win here. Alright, I'm gonna do 2,000. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction. 
to select an answer. Let's take a look at that final Jeopardy clue right now. All right, the English let's received see the last clue. From the Burgundians in 1431 for the sum of 10,000 francs. Um, I'll say, who is Joan of Arc? Did you come up with the correct response? Samuel said Joan of Arc. And this <laughs> He's right! Add how much to your score? He wagered 1,800. Elpo scored to 5,850. Let's see your response. I said Joan of Arc, and we know I'm right. And the correct response will add... I wager 2,000. So I'm going to be the big winner with a total of $12,600. So congratulations. All right. That was a pretty good game we had this segment right there. I'll gladly take that win right there. So... We successfully won ourselves $12,600 this segment, which is a pretty good total right there. So yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii as part of my birthday special. But we still have some more games to play, and I will see you all for the next segment right after this. Stay tuned.